Hey, what's up, everybody? You are watching a brand new episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. With me, <laughs> your hero, Benjamin Banks, and my co-host, Rebellious D and Trav. How you fellas doing today? Ready to rock, man. Yeah, you know how it is, baby. <laughs> Hey, it's always good seeing you guys. And uh -huh. on today's video, everyone, we are reviewing Superman and Lois, which is the new show on the CW. And uh, before we get into that review, make sure that you like this video. You get in the comment section and talk with us about the episode. And you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have a new video up. So right. if we don't have anything else to say, y'all ready to get into today's review? Hey. Uh, podcast in the day. description. Yeah. Uh. I've been waiting all day for this, bro. I've been waiting all day for this. I've been oh, yeah. waiting a week to do this review, and I'm glad that we're finally doing it. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. So Superman and Lois, it is in Arrowverse. It takes place several years into the future now. Uh, Lois and Clark, they have twin sons now. Now, originally on, the, on Supergirl, Right. I remember that Lois, she was pregnant, and they did end up having a son. And I remember that they ended up going to Krypton. All this right. was uh, this was some point on the series, uh, and I, I, I remember that much about that. I really didn't watch Supergirl. How about you, Trav? Did you ever watch it? Not like that, but I know that they had little baby John Kent. Okay. You know, so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, little baby John Kent, and like That's you right. said, they 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 went away. They still yep. be getting out of here. Yeah, D. Oh, yeah. Same as Trav, you know. I did actually watch Supergirl uh, most of the way through, so I am familiar with what you're talking about. Okay, I'm cool. there. Yep. Yeah, I, you know, I just never really got into Supergirl. I tried to watch it, and <laughs> I, I just couldn't get into it. Some of the episodes were good that I, I did watch, but uh, it was just something that really never, you know, caught on with me, so I never really gave it a chance for real. But, um, but yeah, we ended up getting Superman. I believe it was on the second or third season that he came in and i remember how big of a moment this was i believe it was the third season because it had made the transition from cbs to the cw for the right. second season mm -hmm. yep. and <clears throat> when i first saw this i was just like wow like we're really getting superman back on tv this was a, a huge deal in the nerdum because the last time we had saw superman on tv was on smallville and even with that we never really got to see Superman. You know, it was right. more of Clark's story, and then we got the CGI suit at the end, but we never saw Superman. So now we're finally getting this show, which takes place 10 years after Smallville ended. Smallville started in 2001, and it ran all the way until 2011. And now we have Superman and Lois. So like I said, it started off good. It was a good episode. Um, definitely better than what I expected it to be. Uh, mm -hmm. The cinematography was really good on the show. The acting was really good. It felt like I was watching a movie on TV. The budget, the budget yep. was up there, bro. Yeah, man. It was really good. It really looked good. super good. It hey, was. that's why. That's why I said, <laughs> how come the CGI f for Superman flying was better than Wonder Woman, bro? That made no sense. No sense to me. Man, honestly, I'll say this. Um, you know, since Star Girl. Um, I know that Stargirl was a H well not HBO a Max show, but it was a DC app show at first. Mm -hmm. uh, the CGI and animation has been really good compared to your traditional CW shows. Yeah. And yep. I, I do mm -hmm. hope that this is something that we same see. With Swamp Thing. <clears throat> you what was that, Trav? Yep. He said the same, same with Swamp, Swamp Thing. thing. See, yeah, see, see, I haven't seen the CGI Swamp Thing was yet. just incredible. Yeah. But see, incredible. you can like, tell that just from the looks, commercials, bro. The yeah, way see, he looks is just so spot on. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm just hoping that this, you know, continues over into the other shows because I always feel like that the CGI and a lot of the Arrowverse shows, it's always kind of, uh, it, it, like, it looks, it, it doesn't look 100. It doesn't look the right. best. If It, it kind of looks clunky at times. Yeah, um, for sure. So, I'll say this. Um, I, I don't know what Jeff John's over there doing with those movies. But I'll tell you what, he's killing the TV shows right now. Yeah, the TV Jeff shows, is killing man. The TV shows. Yeah. TV shows are fire. So pretty much on this episode, it starts off with a recap of Clark's journey to Earth as Kal-El and being found in the farm by the Kents. And we see him growing up. We see him discover his powers. 
And I thought that this was cool opening the show like this because it's like we know that Superman was in the Arrowverse originally, but it was <clears> never <throat> really a focus on him on Supergirl. It was about mm -hmm. Supergirl. And whenever he would come on, it was more of a cameo to help his cousin out. Whereas now we're learning about Clark and I like how they kept it simple. I like how um, it took a twist from Smallville where, you know, on Smallville, you had your your bad guy of the week. Whereas with this Clark, he just grew right. up and he grew up a normal life. His parents, they helped him with his powers and whatnot. And then Jonathan, he ends up dying from a heart attack, just like how he dies in the comics. And Clark, right. he ends up growing up and then he moved to Metropolis and then he gets hired at the Daily Planet and he meets Lois Lane and they become partners. And then we jump forward some more time into the future where Clark, he reveals that he is Superman to her and he proposes to her. Yep. And that's the opening of the show. We okay. see that they end up having two twin sons, mm -hmm. uh, Jordan and Jonathan. And yep. uh, yeah, it's. It, we see that Jordan, he's kind of the the problem child. Oh, whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. The wild child. Whereas, you know, Jonathan, uh, you know, he's good at sports. We see this like early on when he's a kid and whatnot. And then we go a couple more years into the future and now they're teenagers. So uh, starting with you, D, how did you feel about the opening for Superman and Lois? Um, as far as counting the flashback? Or yeah, counting, you know I mean? yeah, counting the, yeah, I mean, counting, I thought it was, yeah. yeah, I thought it was a good way to sum up what I think most people would have already, you know, imagined had happened. You know, right. we didn't spend, you know, a few episodes on the Jonathan Kent tragedy and we just fast forward. And I think that that was a perfect move to make, you know, don't overwhelm people with the old round of the mill bread and butter Superman story. Um, they didn't drown, And also they didn't drown us with the, uh, the Lex Luthor stuff either. Yeah. So, right. I agree. Yep. Trav, how did you feel? <clears throat> yeah. So they did exactly what they did in the new Tom Holland Spider Man's. We don't need we don't need to know how he became Spider Man. We know. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? Thank so you. So you can skip all that stuff. Thank you. We don't need yeah. a recap. Thank you. Yeah, just give us a flashback. How Superman became Superman. But it was really cool how they they killed off John Kent before they had the twins. Mm -hmm. So that way they name one of the <clears throat> sons in the honor. Of you know his his dad, yeah. And it was cool when they first show him as Superman, you know, with the kid and gives him the hat. That was that, cool. Uh, he, yeah, he's wearing the original Superman the original costume. Outfit. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, they had a yeah. lot of Easter eggs in this thing yeah, too man. that paid homage. A lot of Smallville references in yep. here, but they just changed. They took Smallville plot points and just changed characters. Yep, yep. flipped I, yep, them yep, a little yep. bit. And so then now it's like we see Superman and. Uh, his father-in-law, Sam, Sam Lane, uh, mm -hmm. you know, he and Superman, they have a working relationship. This is kind of different than what we are known to see Sam is because it's like, he's mostly like, uh, what's, uh, he's like Thunderbolt Ross where Thunderbolt right. Ross, yeah, yeah. he, he hates the Hulk. Um, with this, it's like, he doesn't hate Superman, but it's like they're on two <laughs> opposite ends of the spectrum. Whereas with this, it's like, they're a family. He knows that Superman is Clark, and whenever there's a problem or an issue, like he lets Superman know, like, "Hey, we need you." And there is something going on at a nuclear power plant where something needs to be done to stop it from erupting. And I like how Superman he goes into the ocean and he gets the giant piece of uh, ice that looked like a drumstick, which was uh, it did look like a drumstick. <laughs> yeah, you, hey, you gotta say it right, man. He flies yeah. over the water, freezes it. It goes back and picks up part of it. And I, I thought it was to, really sweet. I want to clarify for people: you don't mean a drumstick that plays drums. You no, I'm talking about chicken. Ice cream. Yes, I am talking about chicken, and I'm not talking about the drumstick what? ice cream. That's right. Not you talking about the drumstick ice cream. No, I'm talking about the drumstick piece no. of chicken. Yeah, I like, like that, man. I might go ice get some cream. drumstick. No, no, just you never had those? No, 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 no. I've had it. Oh, yeah. no, no, he I, just, mean, hey, just, I don't know. You haven't seen a bunch of movies. So. No, I will. Bro. I will say that uh, because you know there are a lot of cereals now that are based. Yeah, off they of, got like, a drumstick Prince. cereal. Yeah, yeah the drumstick oh, cereal is trash. I had a cereal party one time, and I want to say that there was like twelve boxes of cereal. Don't ever do a cereal party. Don't ever no, do, do it. Do a cereal party. No do a cereal party. Everybody that's watching, do not do a cereal party. It'll be the worst mistake of your life. Trust me on it. 
No. What happened? Somebody you gonna die? get the runs? No, no you get uh, the me, runs. That's me and happened. my boy. Yeah, like Trav said, me and you my boy runs. gold. That's way it, too much sugar for it somebody. It was way to too much sugar, <laughs> bro. Not even just way too much sugar. That's a lot of milk. Yeah, and yeah. I oh, was yeah, there. I had, I had uh -huh. six bowls of cereal, and Josh had I want to say seven or eight because we were competing with each other, and it was so many different cereals. Um, I'll, I'll include the picture. I'll include the picture. I don't compete with milk. I don't. Nah, Anything, man, that's risky. I don't compete with milk. Yeah, that's risky yeah. right there. <laughs> that is risky. Yeah, man, it was it was definitely crazy. But anyway, back to Superman. He gets the giant drumstick shaped uh, ice piece of ice, and he's able to cool down the reaction before it uh, before it explodes. And now we go back to his home life, where um, you can see that uh, Jonathan. You know, he's the cool and popular kid in school. He just made the football team. He's on the varsity team and he's only a freshman because growing up, he had always um, he was always good at sports. So, you know, he was a natural. He made the team. He has a girlfriend, whereas Jordan, he just really keeps to himself. And Clark, he goes into the room to talk with him. And I thought it was funny that Jordan was playing Injustice and he was playing as Superman and Clark's just right. like, he said, you make a really good Superman. And Jordan's just like, Superman sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hit him and with, hit him with that Raiden? Boom. Uh -huh. Yeah, Raiden was in there. That's mm -hmm. uh, it was just That's it was, cool that injustice exists in this world, though, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you got to think. <laughs> you have to think, man. Well, Superman, just like Superman is uh, is a popular character, so it's kind of just like how in the Avengers, how they have the Avengers ice cream. Like right, I'm pretty, right, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So it, like it makes. No, sense I just that, mean the game and justice that it was. It's cool that it exists in this world. Not that I get that. Superman I mean, yeah, is in a fighting it, it's, game. It's definitely a cool Easter egg because you know yeah. most of the time when you watch TV shows, if there's like a video they game, they make up it, a game. It's yeah, like they a make up a game. game. Yeah, yeah, just like uh, in Family Matters when they had that made up Mortal Kombat game. And remember, Urkel put himself inside of the game, and he was throwing cheese at people. Y'all remember oh, that? Cheese, no. Triple nigger. Dang, dang. Y'all remember Family Matters? Anyway, um, never heard of it. That's crazy. Hey, easy. I'm not going that far. Yeah, you need to chill. You <laughs> need to heard. hold on, Rondell. You, Ooh, hey, Urkel. Yeah, hey, you're, 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 hey, you're sliding on thin ice, and I'm not talking about All that right. drumstick, man. <laughs> mister, you forgot the Mister. You got to hit me with the oh, Mister. Oh, hey, yeah, of course I forgot it. But um, yeah, so. Martha Kent, she lives by herself on the farm. Uh, she's an old woman now, of course. And she wants Clark to come home. And what ends up happening is because of the life that Clark lives as Superman, he really doesn't spend enough time with his sons. And that's the reason why they kind of act the way that they do towards him. They also don't know that he is Superman. So... They're living their, you know, regular lives and whatnot. And how you not know your dad's Superman? Nah, I'm gonna get to that too once once we get to the part when they find out. But uh, Martha, <laughs> she's she's ended up having a stroke, and Clark gets the phone call, and you know he rushes he rushes back home yeah. to the Kent farm, and the doctor she's just like, "How did you get here?" So <laughs> you know you're all the way in Metropolis, and Clark. Yeah, yeah uh huh. It, it it was just it was a sad moment. So now you know Martha, she's gone now, and the family has to go back home to the Kent farm to a barrier. And we end up seeing familiar faces. We see Lana Lang, Clark's first love, and she's married now. Her name is Cushing now. She's married to Kyle Cushing, who is a fire a firefighter. I believe he's the captain. He's the chief. Of yeah, he's the chief. chief. He's the fire yes. chief, baby. He's the fire chief. Put some, put some respect on it. Yeah, put some respect he, he's the on it. Fire him. chief. Hey guys, I, I what did I call him? The fire captain? The fire captain? You, You're getting no, it you tomorrow, didn't... Banks. Call him fire captain. <laughs> fire captain banks tomorrow. <laughs> Nobody's gonna know what I'm talking about. Yeah, hashtag. Not real. Hey, hashtag. Real, hey, real talk. I know we've been talking about the train a lot. No, I was you've at, been talking. Hey, look, you've been talking about hey, that look, train. I was at a, I was at a red light because the train was crossing, and I oh. wanted to record it because I was just like, man, the train. That's the best he's got. Travis and, got and, called and the, I saw the caboose. There's, there's no uh, real Banks train, so that's the best he's no, got. Like, no, no, there is a Banks train. There is a Banks train. It's that. It's that. It's like uh, that train song. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm on ride the train. Yeah, thank you, Travis. Thank you. <laughs> 
Hey, you can't help him. You're like I, the devil's advocate right now. I can't right help now. it. I know, uh, man. But that song's a banger. That. Yeah, it's, hey. it's by DJ City Who or something like that. Who City or something. <sighs> But try yeah, hey, that's, you just that's keep our music guy because you know, know look, he's bobbing his head now and everything. But, Bro. Um, but yeah, yeah one, so, one city DJs, that's what it is. Yeah, there try you know, that's city. great because I'm I'm the one who's gonna have to hear this tomorrow. Yeah, yeah I'm of course. Of course. Troll, hey, this troll. Hey, hey D, when I call you tomorrow, I want to make sure that it's playing in the background. <laughs> oh, so don't answer <laughs> it the first two times. God. But um, but yeah, like I said, they end up returning home, and right off the back, it's like you can tell that Kyle is uh, a prick. I was trying to think of something. Yeah, else. yeah that's a great, that's a word. great he's word. A prick. He's a prick. But yeah, he's a prick, and also too, it's like Lana, she doesn't, she's not as cheery as we've known. I mean, because of course it's like they're all older now, which is something that I like, and I don't know if you guys watched the special that came on after. Um, I did, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. And I like how they touched on the fact that it's like these are adult characters because I was tell telling D this earlier how most of the CW shows, it's like while on some of the shows they do have adult characters, it's like they really don't tackle those serious themes that adults go through. The only show where they do tackle stuff like that would be Black Lightning because it's a, it's a family. You know, Jefferson is in his 40s and Lynn, she's in her 40s as well. And they have two teenage, well, one teenage daughter and one daughter that's a young adult. So, um, you know, it's like, it just looks like that Lana, she's not, you know, as cheery as she was compared to the Lana that we saw on Smallville. Um, they also have a daughter named Sarah and Sarah and Jordan and Jonathan, they know each other because of the time that Jonathan and Jordan went back home uh, to not home, but when they went to Smallville and they spent that summer together, um, starting with you, Trav, how did you feel about <clears throat> Martha being killed off early on? Did you think that they were going to kill her character off or did you think that it was going to be like, you know, most of the TV shows with superheroes or movies where um, the older woman, like your Aunt May or somebody, they're, they stay alive the entire time? Right. Well, I didn't go into the show thinking that they were going to kill her off. But um, I had a feeling once the phone call happened that, you know, she was going to go bye bye. But I like her death is meaningful because it sets yes. up how they come to decide to stay in Smallville or whatever. Yeah. And then they pay like a little homage that like she was the Superman of the small town because. She yeah. Yeah. So many people. So like it wasn't just a death for a death. Like it had meaning behind it. D. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely um, I thought it was a possibility, especially once they bring up the Jonathan passing and basically uh, time jump to Clark being a little older and further into his life. Their kids are damn near, you know, they're in, going into high school. So um, and the Martha Kent thing has been done a lot. You know, well, we know her from Smallville and she was on there the whole time. Damn there. So, yeah, I thought it was a good step um, moving superman into territory that most people wouldn't know you know most of us haven't seen it without martha in any capacity so i think it's a good thing <clears throat> yeah i 100 percent agree with both of y'all on that um how the reason when he came home like clark he tells lois that you know she said that come home and like i had said earlier that was one of the reasons why she wanted him to come home because by being superman and living the city life um, it distanced him from his family for real. And, mm -hmm. you know, with them coming home and living in this small town where nothing really goes on at, they can spend more time together. But at the same time, too, because Clark is Superman, he doesn't have to be in a big city to fight crime. He can still be at home and then get to where he needs to be. At, like we saw when yeah. Martha died, yep. he was there in the snap of a finger. So, um, I'm really looking forward to at what, what we're going to see on the show. Um, you know, also at the funeral, uh, Jonathan, Jordan, and Sarah, they end up going into the barn because that's where the Wi-Fi is. And Which Jordan, how? he... Huh? How? I, I mean, I'm assuming that like, that that was like the best place to put the Wi-Fi at, probably because uh, it was probably Verizon Wi-Fi, and you know you got to have it in certain areas. That's right. You sure do. So Jordan, he climbs up the ladder and he ends up falling. And when he falls, a bunch of steel beams fall onto him. And before they fall, 
Jonathan, he leaps in and he saves him. Now, after this happens, nothing, they're, like, they're both undamaged. Like, nothing happened to them. And that's when they want to start asking questions and whatnot because it's just well, like... not they. Well, Clark and Lois. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. It's it's just Jordan asking questions. John is just like... Tell him, kind of. I don't think nothing of it. Yeah, yeah. he just kind of went on about his business. And honestly, once Jordan started doing that, <clears throat> um, I knew what was up. You knew that he had the powers. I knew that he had the powers because, well, you know, why would the other guy not question it if yeah. he knew? Like, he knew what he was doing. So, yeah, he was just I playing agree. Big Brother. Yeah. And you got to also think, too, he had the powers because he got Sarah's number, too. Yeah, well. Yeah, I, I don't know about all. I'm just yeah. saying. Sarah got, Sarah got that boyfriend, so. Yeah, I mean, but hey, he didn't know that, though. He and didn't see, know that, was, that, though. that was wrong on Sarah. Hey, for, but she ain't tell him, though, did she? She didn't tell him. And then they kissed. He was going to get around to it. Uh huh. Uh huh. At the party. Um. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, the steel beams fall and everything. Like Trav said, Jordan started asking the questions that he wanted to know what was going on. Um, we also find out, too, that um, Kyle. He lets Clark and Lois know that Martha, um, <clears throat> she pretty much, she sold the farm. She sold the land because there was another family that needed help because uh, they were going to lose their farm and whatnot. And Martha, she ends up going to the bank and setting something up. And Lois pretty much, I mean, not Lois, Lana, who works at the bank, she tells them that either they can buy the farm out or they can sell it to them. And that's the reason why they end up staying home in Smallville, so that way that they can come together as a family. Now, Jordan, he finally starts asking those questions on, you know, why didn't anything happen to me? And, you know, what are you hiding from us? And that's when, oh yeah, I'm sorry too, I also skipped this part. They go into the barn and they end up finding the ship that Clark came on. Oh, yeah, came, yeah. Came to Earth on. And like that's, and it was like right when they did that, that's when they came out of the barn. And that's when they wanted to, you know, ask the questions like, well, what's going on? Because Clark always told them to stay out of the barn. And that's when he. And before, you, before you move on, though, I guess my Superman knowledge ain't where it needs to be. Okay. What was the crystal that he pulled out of the ship? I believe that, he, that might have been the starter what? to the. So it's like I, keys. Yeah, yeah. I think because, yeah, because I mean, well, that's kind of how Smallville goes. That's exactly. Except it's a chip, right? Yes. Isn't it a? It's like a the thing that's in the shape of his uh his. Silver. It was like an octagon or yeah, something. Yeah, no, it like was that. the octagon thing that that fit in there and it just started up. I would imagine yeah. it's something of the same capacity. Okay. Yeah. Like some sort of key. Or I didn't something. know what it was. Yeah, I was like, well, I've never seen that before. That's the weird thing because all the like the tech, like the crystals, most of them hold memories from Krypton. Yep. Like there's a right. bunch of them in the uh, the Fortress of Solitude that do different things. Mm -hmm. So it could play so a I, factor later down the yeah, road. It could, okay. it could have been a special right. kryptonite because it was like right. orange. Yep. I don't know. It was Any, orange. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, saying. So, yeah, it could be. Yeah. So they come out the barn. They ask the questions and whatnot, and then Clark he reveals that he's Superman. And they're just like, there's no way we would know if you were Superman. So, Prav, earlier on when you were like, well, how didn't they know that their dad oh, was I Superman? Oh, I know, bro. And, I know. And <laughs> I know that I had read somewhere before that Clark wears these special Kryptonian glasses that Get out of here. When, uh, when he wears these glasses, people, they don't see Superman. They just see a normal man. But when he takes the glasses off, He's Superman. So when he took the glasses off, I was just like, are they really about to go with this? Like, bro, yeah, I, man, come on. I, sw I swear to God, when he went like this with the glasses, <laughs> I said, I swear to God, if he looks up and they go, you are Superman. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm turning it hey. off. I'm turning it off. <laughs> Trav, you got this, you got this damn close because I was like, man, are they really about to? Yeah, no, man, it, it was cool. He ended up handing the glass. No, it was below. cool the way. Yeah, exactly. I it think they did that to troll us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. This is my thing too, right? So he goes <laughs> to pick up the truck, and right. like he just picks it up slow. Like, did you guys think that he was just yeah. going to like? He was just. I thought he did it like up. Mark Henry. Yeah, he was going to lift the truck. Up. Yeah. Oh, like, like he did the tractor in uh, Smallville. When yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> where he just picks up the back end. Uh huh. He hey, he picked it up nice and slow to show them that he could do it. And then he got underneath it, and then he flew up in the sky with it. And they was just like, so you've been Superman this entire time, and you never told us. And then they were both pissed that 
Clark never told him that he was Superman, which I understand why. It's it's yeah. one of those things where it's just like if I tell you that I <clears throat> Superman, Michael could find out. Michael <laughs> could find out. I mean, you. I yeah, mean, we saw what <laughs> we saw what happened to Pete on Smallville when uh -huh. get right, beat up. Yeah. That he was that Clark had these powers. It's like it's a big secret that you have to hold, and it can be stressful and you'll get attacked by people because you know this secret. So mm -hmm. I understand why Clark and Lois didn't say anything. So that was well, Lois wanted to. So, yeah, but I mean, like Clark said, you know, it was, it was him that didn't want her to say anything. Right. So, I mean, I understand, I get it. Um, they end up going to the party and then that's when he's having a good time with Sarah and then he kisses her. And then that's when the boyfriend shows up and then a fight goes out. They're sitting there beating up Jonathan and that's when his quirk activates. He gets the heat vision <laughs> and uh, his quirk. Now, I did not expect the heat vision, though. I, I kind of saw, saw it coming, coming when he was laying there getting frustrated. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, like, to reveal his power. Yeah. I did so, not expect him to go ham with the heat vision right off the Hey, top. I thought he was going to knock her boyfriend clean out, bro. Yeah. I thought, I thought that it was, was going to be something. Yeah, I thought it was going to be something, you know, a little or more Or his subtle. brother was going to show up before his could activate and just start wrecking house. Yeah. I thought it was going to be something like that, but no, he blew up the fire. So let me ask uh, you guys this, <clears throat> starting with you, uh, D. Yep. So Jordan, he gets his powers, <clears throat> and we see that all he has right now is just the heat vision. And Clark and Lois, they see that, you know, their one son has powers and the other one doesn't. So do you guys think that Jonathan will <laughs> get powers of his own? Like, do you think it's going to kind of be Definitely. like Black? Do you think it's gonna be like Black Lightning, where it's like you know Lightning? It's she kind has, of she has her own powers. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna I mean, see that's, that? That's be interesting. I think I think they're both gonna get um, the same powers as Clark. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't think. I mean, m one might lean one to more to the other, kind of like uh, Wicked and Speed. Yeah, right. it could yes, they exactly. could go that way since these are kind of like an original could, right, deal. Yeah. So I don't know how they're gonna do it. Trav. Yeah. No, I agree. I think. This I'm calling for. We mm -hmm. see John's reveal in the season finale. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But um, one thing too, Banks. I think it may be like lopsided as far as their abilities because the uh, Jonathan seems to be like uh, bulletproof and stuff almost. Like you know, he's indestructible. He's the one that got hit with the beam. I mean, the yeah. beam. Yeah, the steel beams. And then you know, his brother manifests the eye exactly. beams. Exactly. So it's exactly. gonna be interesting. That's and that's yeah. what I'm saying because mm -hmm. it's like when the when the steel <clears throat> fell on him, he he was protecting his brother. You yep. know what I'm saying? Right. And like nothing happened to him. So that's what well, I think is going. Go ahead. Remember, try. even though John, you're talking about John or Jordan? No, Jonathan. Like he, I, Jonathan. Even, but even though John jumped on top of him, remember Jordan switched and threw him underneath him. So Jordan, John still doesn't. Revealing uh, powers. Okay. Yeah, uh, that was okay. the big. That's that's what led to Jordan asking the questions and John being like, "We were lucky because uh, okay. Jordan." There's something that went in him that said, "I can save us." So yeah. they switch positions, and that's why Jordan's asking the questions. Ah, uh, see, I thought I thought that because okay. I remember Jonathan. He does jump on top of him. Yeah, he jumps on top, but before okay. they fall, he switches. Okay, and he he rolls over. And gets on top of. John. I actually, um, while we're on the brothers or the twins right now, um, I'm hoping that they don't go the the light path, dark path thing. I don't really want to see, see that. that's gonna like happen, a Superboy yeah. type of thing, like a Rebel Superboy. Well, no, no, yeah, I get what like you one lead, like one brother goes down the dark path, like yeah. the Sith Lord, and the other yeah. goes to the you know the Jedi Council. I don't want to see anything like happening. That. Yeah, I know, but I think they might try and make it so that Jordan is the one that ends up on the good and swapping what it seems like. But I, well, I just don't. That would make sense, though, because, again, what makes <clears throat> this show so great so far to me is yeah. the it's, original. Cool that it's, it's cool that he's Superman, but that's really not what the show's about. The, no. the, the, the show deals with real family dynamics and things going through, mental illness, all these things. Yep. Yep. And the fact that John's going to go from being the star kid to being the second fiddle yeah. could really Yeah, of course. You can see it coming. Feelings. It's yeah, I mean, yeah, I could yeah. totally understand it if they go that route. I mean, I trust them after the first episode, to be honest. Oh, they yeah, did a great yeah. job with that open. But uh, hey, back to you. You also got to think, too, uh, Trav, just to piggyback off of what you said, 
when they decide to stay in Smallville, remember Jonathan was going to be on the football team in Metropolis, and yeah, now yeah. that they're going to be in Smallville, both of them Good pretty point. much have to start over again. Uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, Twenty One Jump Street, where yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cool kid, and then he became the nerd mm-hmm. in Twenty Two exactly, Jump Street. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I definitely get those vibes. And also, too, we have Clark who um, he gets the phone call from the the villain in this episode who we don't know. It's a it's a masked man. And he oh, says we he do know now. Well, well, I mean, I'm going to say that. once. Oh, we get OK. To you're saying end. we don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, um, you know, pretty much he says he knows who Superman is and whatnot. And uh, they meet up and there's an exchange of words like he's wearing a, a special type of suit that is made of lead so that way that Clark can't see or Superman can't see who he is. They end up fighting each other and the suit, it gives this person strength so that way that they can compete with Clark. Now, when we first saw them, I thought it was somebody else from Krypton. Um, mm-hmm. It possibly could be somebody from Krypton. We don't yeah. know. Um, it could you be somebody. Who it is. Yeah, we know who it is. It's, it, all, right. it, all we find out is that so it's, it's one of two people. It's, it's Mr. Luther. That's who they reveal. Or right, right. Mike. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real, I was really trying to think who else it could be. Right <laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it it makes me think: Is this going to be a brand new Lex Luther, or are they going to bring in John Breyer again? Because I thought, yeah, that, I was just about to say he did it in the uh, crossover. Yeah, yo, know, he he was a phenomenal Lex Luthor. Yeah, like, he did. He did a good job, actually. So, I do wonder if it's going to be him or if it could be another Luthor. But I think who, it's another Luthor, personally. I mean, it you could. Think so? be, I mean, it could yeah. be Lionel Luthor. Well, probably. to me, to, but to me, he has a uh, John has a lot. He has a lot of weight to him. I would say he's a pretty yeah. good actor. Um, and the likelihood of them using him just for a crossover seems pretty slim to me. Yeah. That's I, almost I, as heavy as if they uh if they switch the guy running uh Superman, you know? Well, for well the, D, just just to let you know, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, but he he doesn't just show up in the crossover. He's actually on Supergirl. Like yeah. he's he, he's one of the Oh, um, yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah he, he was up there. Yeah, yeah, so I I mean, and that's another thing. Do you guys think that Supergirl is going to appear on Superman cuz I know um, that the last <clears> season is coming up this year and I after can, that I it's can over. I can see it. Well, I mean, down the road. I'm glad you brought that up, Banks, because, uh, you know, we just did our Black Lightning uh, episode three review. Yeah. And I was thinking when we started talking about the last names and the Stewart thing, I think that uh, I think that Lynn could be used as a crossover character, too, actually, because they say that she's like the lead in genetics. Yes. Right. And I think they I don't think they'll have a problem reusing characters. They, it hasn't been a problem before. Yeah, yeah so, I, I think so too. Yeah, yeah, especially if it's if it's down the line. Um, yep. And like D just said, uh, if you're into Black Lightning and you're watching this video, make sure that you check out our Black Lightning reviews where uh, we talk about Black Lightning in the final season, season four. Yep. Um, now that it has been confirmed that Diggle is going to be on yep. uh, this season, this season is also going to have a total of 15 episodes. Originally, it was three episodes, and they added two more episodes to it. Um, so, so far, really good episode. Like I said in the beginning of this review, uh, I don't usually get, do this for um, TV show reviews, but I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Like, I can't wait to yeah, see damn next right. week's episode. Yeah. Uh, well, I just want to bring up one more thing before we start talking about ratings and stuff like what that. What you got, Trav? Um, I want to bring up Morgan Edge a little bit. I want to see how, oh. how far they're going to take the Morgan good Edge point. character. Great point. They've already, they they introduce Captain Luther at the end of the show, yeah. And then they they keep pending the Morgan Edge throughout mm-hmm. the whole series, which is why Clark Clark gets fired from the Daily Planet. Something yeah. we didn't cover. So Clark Kent gets fired from the Daily Planet, which is why they realistically could move yeah. to Smallville because he doesn't have to have the job. He's just Superman. Yeah. yeah. But. I want to just see how far they m- take Morgan Edge. <clears throat> I yeah. believe that Morgan Edge already knows that Clark Kent is Superman. Okay. So then, let, it, let me ask you this, Trav. I'm sorry to cut you off. For people who don't know who Morgan Edge is, who is that? Basically a lead mobster. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's, that's in, probably in what he is. He's a yeah. lead mobster. Hold on. I, well, mobster. well, there's two different Morgan Edges. So, I okay. mean, we've got like... 
the original, like he just said, yeah. lead mobster type Morgan Edge that he's just a billionaire type of dude. Yep. He's, he's got it through dirty money, you know, just yeah. like any other. So isn't Morgan Edge, now that I remember it, like, wasn't he on Smallville? Yes, and he, he was. was and he, he was, was on Smallville. And he was friends with Lionel Luther. Yeah, they were, yep. well, they were all running buddies. That, yeah. This is what I'm saying. Okay. The, is, he's the one who Lionel used to kill his, his parents to inherit that money. Yes. Yeah, and so. I do, and I do remember on Smallville that he did, he did know that Clark was Superman. Yes, so. he did. Okay, so okay, thank you for <laughs> jogging my memories because I, I re the name sound familiar, but I couldn't remember who he was for the life of me. But go ahead, Trav. But yeah, I mean, it, even to the very last thing they mentioned about him is what would Morgan Edge want to do with a bunch of farms in Smallville? And they're like, good question. You know what I mean? So I think we're going to get a blend <clears throat> of the mobster Morgan Edge yep. and then also, you know, the whole inner gang running through the galaxies, yeah. actual villain type Morgan Edge. That's and cool. definitely him and Captain Luther are in cahoots yeah. with each other for sure. I believe that 100%. Now, to piggyback off of what Trav said, do you think it's a possibility that he wants all the farmlands in Smallville to harvest meteor rocks? Man, is that a possibility? It could, or it it could be that it could be literally just the rat, just to bring out you know Superman and rattle mm -hmm. his cage. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, it, it could be a number of things. It could be a number of things. That's what I'm saying. I, I like want to know how far they're going to go with it. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So D, what we what do you give this episode? Like, uh, how are your feelings and thoughts on it? I'm right with you. I'm gonna give it a, a ten. I thought it was a fresh take on Superman, bro. I say I've said it a couple times on different things, on different episodes and stuff. That uh, Superman's usually pretty stale as far as yeah. what they do, how they open it, who the yeah, villain yeah, is. Yep. This is new. I mean, they're they're talking about Morgan Edge. It's not Lex Luthor off the bat. You know, it's not Zod off the bat. Yeah, and it's nice. You know, yeah. so. Trav. Yeah, you you getting no hate. <laughs> Or trash from your boy <laughs> this time. I'm Not this flat week. out 10 out of 10. It's the greatest superhero opening episode I've ever seen in my life. Hell my yeah. Dang, that's Hell I yeah. mean, that's pretty had, high. It man. had the bro, it had the movie score production mm -hmm. behind it. It had the CGI behind it. It's yep. got a budget. Um dude, it's better than any DC movie I've yeah. seen in probably Oof. outside of Shazam in like yeah. five years. Mm. So that's I mean, yeah. I agree. What's it called? I mean, this you know, thing is. I like that breakdown. Something else too um, that nobody else mentioned on this review is that um, I feel like they had to go all out because it is Superman, and like they were saying in the special after the episode ended, like Superman was pretty much the first hero for DC. Uh, yeah. So it's just like you know you have to go all out, just like how Marvel did with the Captain America stuff. They went all out and all three Captain America movies were really good mm -hmm. um, with this. Now, when I first saw Superman, I believe, uh, I believe we still had Henry Cavill as Superman and uh, justice league movies and stuff like that. And then we have Tyler uh, Hoshelin. And at first I wasn't feeling him like that but after watching this episode i mean like I, I started i started liking him as i saw him in the crossover episodes and whatnot but after watching this episode of superman and lois i want to say that he in my opinion is a better superman than henry cavall yes in, in my opinion yes. uh, i think that I, not that he gets henry cavall yeah, yeah i don't he think, did a good job i don't think this is the thing guys it, it depends on like how you get set up for the role I, I think the Henry, I thought, I thought Henry was a good, um, just like if you're a good player in sports, yeah. if you're on a crappy team, right. it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Yeah. That's I true. mean, and that's because Henry Cavill, he looks the part. It was just like his movie was kind of like, eh, once again, what does it do? It tells us yeah, Jonathan Kent. It's kind of boring. Yeah. It, it, right. it tells us Jonathan Kent, you get Zod, right? It's yep. just like, come on. How many times? Hamster wheel guys. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know, man. I, th I think it goes a little, for me personally, it goes a little yeah, it's just like, deeper. There's something about this guy playing Superman that yeah. says, that's uh, my Superman. Well, you I know told, what I mean? Yeah, and I told, uh, I was talking to Banks earlier today about it. And I had, I know him from Teen Wolf and uh, yeah. Angela. She's yeah, seen him Teen in some Wolf. movies where he plays he a, a business teacher, man. right? Yeah. And uh, yeah. no, he was um, an alpha male. He yeah, was one alpha, of the, uh, okay. 
he was kind of like an anti-hero. He wanted the um, the alpha power essentially, right. but he ends up teaming up with the good guys. Blah blah blah. But um, I really liked him in that, you know, as a werewolf and stuff, and just his acting ability. I liked him from Jump Street. So when I saw that he was playing Superman, I was kind of intrigued. Yeah. Wasn't sure if he could pull it off, but he did it. Hey, and then yeah, and he voices oh, Sep- he voices I was Sephiroth. About to say, yeah, yeah. And, and he does. Sephiroth. I mean, the man voices Sephiroth. Yeah, so. So, <laughs> and, and he and he did a pretty good job of Sephiroth. Like he killed it as Sephiroth. I yeah. don't have any. Honestly, when again, you know my feelings on the FF8 <clears throat> FF8 remake. Seven. It's seven remake. It's not. I hate the storyline. Everybody that they brought in to do voiceover work and stuff crushed it. Yep, you know, so. the look at the game is fantastic. All the voice yeah. acting is fantastic. He crushed it as Sephiroth. Yeah. Did a really he good job. He sounds exactly like I thought Sephiroth would sound like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, That's I mean, great even hear. though we've already heard it, you know, but from yeah. Advent Children. But honestly, I watch Advent Children subbed. I usually watch in Japanese. Yeah. So I really don't I recall that Sephiroth mm-hmm. voice. I really don't recall that voice. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can't. Even, I can't remember the voice actor who played him originally, but right. I will say that I I did get hyped up when I found out that he was voicing Sephiroth because I was just like, oh wow, that's Superman. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? So I mean, you got to think like that's two big characters that he's done now in his career yep. because Superman is a huge character. You know when when it comes to playing Superman, like those are huge shoes to fill. Just like yeah, yeah. yeah. just like just like Rocky becoming the Red Ranger. You know, either right. you're going to either you're yeah. going to make it or you're going to Or gonna, you're not. Because yeah. yeah, so, last hey, last Superman we saw, the real Superman, that was the man Tom Welling. No, I mean, <laughs> no, bro, you got to think the last Superman that we had I'm talking about TV, the last real Superman. Oh, I mean, I get what you're saying, but I'm saying like the last time we saw Superman on TV was with Lois and Clark. And that was back like in the early 90s. I think that ran until what, 95? 96, yeah. I think, something like that. I know it was. I five mean, that, that show, yeah, that show was okay. But I'm talking about yeah, Tom Welling. Okay. Tom Welling is my guy. Man, Damn, that, I'll say that show I'll was say right. this. Tom Welling played a really good Clark Kent. He, yeah, he did. He he didn't he didn't play Superman. He played a really good Clark Kent. I, the only thing when it comes to Superman for him is that they took a bunch of Superman elements and made yeah. it into, and made it into Clark Kent elements. And it was kind of like a prequel, kinda. Yeah, but it's just Basically. like that. That was one of the issues that I had with Smallville was that yeah. you had these kids, like you had Doomsday up there, like he was encountering all of these villains. Well, that's that. That was man. That was them trying to cash in at that point, dude. There's no way Doomsday and all that stuff shows up. Yeah, or yeah, they had Metallo no up there. Yeah, there was it's a ton just of like, come them, on. That makes no sense. No, yeah, I mean it was no cool. Sense. It's cool I for mean, the comic nerds, but yeah, up to like season six of Smallville was really good. I think yeah. that's where I cut off at. Yeah, well, it's just now that as... we have Superman and Lois, yep. Yep. you know, I'm down with seeing like Metallo and all like Parasite. I'm and oh, hopefully we. I don't, know, think, I don't think we need to throw a whole bunch of people out there too. Let's slow as as yeah, slow says, burn it. Let's slow burn it. Okay, you know let what it I burn. mean. Develop. We've already got two main antagonist right now yep. let's just let this play out i want to see we'll where the morgan edge thing goes yeah. to be honest so i thought if, that was a brilliant play if we let it go slow then then uh like not know, giving what, no what, no what, i mean like what well, what villains are we gonna see like do you think that the show needs to focus on the villains and like have it a villain of the week it, or i don't uh, think it's think going that, to it just needs it, to be character development and it is developing all it of the is. characters yeah okay. because it's, it's based around the family so that only makes I, sense this is just like what made the dark knight such a great movie is batman didn't matter like batman could have been anything that yeah. movie could be a great movie without batman being in it yeah it could it could have been james bond who cares? Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I mean? That. I think I think this show is like that. The fact that it's Superman is kind of it's there, but it's irrelevant to the story yeah. itself. To what makes the show good, it's just that it's the cherry on the top. You know? Yeah, yeah. Superman. I bro. totally agree. You know what I mean? So yep. yeah, I feel like we could. There's just so many dynamics that you can touch. You don't need to bring in all these. We don't yep. need to be nope. hit with eight villains. Nope. Right from yeah. the jump. I hear what you're saying. I mean, kind of uh, like a uh, Star Girl, for example. Yeah. You know, it's just like you know you had all the villains in the town. But it was it was more character development for well, the heroes and yeah. the villains. And then when, about well, it, 
I was gonna say, in all fairness, that yeah. first episode of Stargirl introduced the like six villains and a whole yeah, and squad. Yeah, well, no, but they were all on the same team. Though. Though. Yeah, but they. Most yeah, of them I'm just saying. Much either. And I think that's yeah, yeah, really yeah. cool. Like they were just chilling. Yeah, for real. And it's like whenever they needed to do they something. They were retired villains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Villains yeah, retired were... too, everybody. Yeah, they're retired villains. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm cool with that. Like, uh, hopefully, um, because on uh, next week's review for Superman, I believe that it is going to be airing with The Flash. So we're going to be doing a <laughs> review for The Flash and Superman. That's and right. I'm really hoping that. Looking season forward seven, to it. <laughs> I'm really hoping season seven of The Flash. Is really good. I mean, like season six, it got better. Um, yeah, it, it get, definitely got better as it went on. But yeah, it got better they, as it went on. But it's like I, it I really, I really think that the Flash yeah. just needs to have like I like know. Black Lightning and, and like uh, Superman and Lois. It just needs to have like thirteen to fifteen episodes. Yeah. I yeah. actually think, I actually think Flash. They're trying to push it since it was their first like superhero show back. I guess. I think they're trying to push that to 10 seasons, to be honest with you, then pull the plug. I actually think that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, I mean, it's I just can see, not well enough, said. man. Yeah, I can see Flash being like the Smallville because what Arrow had, what, eight, eight seasons? Eight. Arrow yeah, had eight. eight. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And it was just like. I think Flash it'll match Arrow. Like, I th you think so? I just think it'll match Arrow. Yeah, I'm going to say they're going to pull the plug after eight. Especially, again, I'm not trying to sound like a Flash hater, yeah. but. You're, yeah. That show's coming on after Superman every yeah. single week, starting from this point. Got, Superman's going to catch it, bro. Superman's yeah. going to catch it. Good luck. And, I mean, if, That's hey, a lot. That hey, if Iris is still leading the team, count me <laughs> out. Yeah. Oh, you know she is. You know she's going to be leading the team. Is. I'm about to go you take this off. Is. I'm out of here. Yeah, man. You know, yeah, you know hey, she is. One more thing before you wrap it up. <laughs> um, they also paid homage to probably the most iconic Superman uh comic cover and that's the action comic superman the holding up the green volts yeah, uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. that was sweet that, was, that sweet. was sweet just well just the whole the whole dynamic of it and like how you said earlier where he had on the costume and yeah, yeah, yeah. he ended up saving the little boy and so that's what i'm saying jeff johns cool. jeff johns does all this great stuff i don't know why they can't <laughs> portray that in the movies i don't i don't know what's missing there well see okay this is my thing and then we can go ahead and wrap it up i just want to hear you guys' opinion on this but what makes this superman a good superman is something that we didn't see in man of steel is the fact that you see superman like you know doing daily tasks by just saving people yeah. you know what i'm right. saying we don't yeah. you know luckily we didn't see him you know getting any fights in the city and the city being destroyed I remember that was one of the things that Josh Whedon had said about um, just not Justice League, but Man of Steel, where it's like you really didn't see Clark saving anybody for real. You just saw right. him. You just saw a bunch of destruction. Yep. Whereas, like, that's the reason why in Avengers <clears throat> H Ultron, there were a lot of moments where the Avengers were being heroes and actually saving people because yep. there's more to saving people than just destroy, destroying or beating the bad guys. So. Yep. Um, that's what I loved about this Superman. And I mean, we saw like he saved, he saved the people from the nuclear panic, the nuclear plant exploding. He saved a little <laughs> boy, you know? So yeah, I'm looking well, forward to seeing what happens next. Yeah. The people just, I think they just focus about Superman. Like I, like I, I keep saying, man, like, like a, a broken record. They just don't focus. They don't broadcast any of his other villains. Really? It's the right. same story. Yeah. That's yeah. that's the problem with it, bro. That's yeah, the go -to Man of Steel is basically it. the Christopher Reeves movie. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's like the same thing, literally. Yeah. So it's just that's an updated version for a, yeah, a new uh, generation of people. Yep. So. So yeah. With that being said, thank you everybody for watching this review. We hope that you enjoyed it, and we hope that you tune in next week when we do the episode two review. And before we leave, try tell everybody in social media land where they can find you at. That's right. You can find your boy over there on that Instagram at ZK Audio. And my boy D, where we going to find you at? Rebellious double underscore D23 at Instagram.com. That's right. And Thanks. you can find me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me on Facebook by typing in Benjamin Banks, and I should be the first person to pop up. If not, I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Make sure that you follow all the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks social media accounts at Leveling Up Banks. That is on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure that you check out our podcast where we release new episodes every Tuesday 
on any podcast platforms. I said it right this time, Trav. And uh, make sure that you tune in on YouTube for Friday where we release the video interview from that episode. Make sure that you also donate to us if you're feeling generous at Leveling Up Banks. And uh, make sure you like this video, you subscribe to this channel, you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new videos. And uh, hop in the comments and let's talk. Let us know how you felt about this. Do you think that this is the best Superman in live action? Or uh, do you think that there was another Superman that you enjoyed more? Let's talk about it. And make sure that you tune into our other videos that are going to be coming up this week. We got WandaVision Episode 8 coming out this Friday. And my Promise Neverland video coming out on Thursday, tomorrow. And make sure that you check out Trav's new videos where he has been covering The Last Ronin. He put out two. Trav, when is part three coming out? Not till May. Not till May. So, hey, make sure that you tune in in May when he comes out with part three. And uh, with that being said, thank you again for watching the video. We'll see you next time. And uh, always keep that pinky up. Peace. sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and get notified every time we upload a new one by subscribing and ticking the bell icon you can also listen to the full episode by searching for leveling up with benjamin banks on your favorite podcast app if you'd like to help support more great content like this be sure to check us out on patreon we'll have the link posted in the description below thanks for listening and see you on the next episode of leveling up with benjamin banks